What if your AI cannot just write the code, but also test itself and fix every bug automatically? Not a professional advisor, but let's hit it on. Alright guys, so this is the landing page of Test Sprite. Link to this will be in the description of the video. It has emerged as the simplest and most accessible AI-powered testing agent that is designed to make that software testing fully autonomous, fast, and hands-free. Now, it is built on the belief that testing should never slow development, and TestBright eliminates the inefficiencies of traditional QA workflows. Now, this one enables developers to ship confidently without being weighed down by repetitive manual tasks. And guys, at the heart of this innovation is TestSprite MCP. And it is a fully automated AI testing agent that reads project specifications and instantly generates a comprehensive test plan. And that is completely free of manual input. Now, this intelligent system detects the broken, missing, or incomplete features with precision. It delivers that detailed reports that highlight the issues alongside clear instructions for resolution. So with over that 90% accuracy in feature delivery, Test Sprite ensures that products are tested and validated in record time. So the platform's greatest advantage, guys, lies in its no-code plug-and-play design. So users require no testing expertise, no coding knowledge, or prompts needed, okay? So TestSprite autonomously manages the entire workflow planning, execution, and analysis so that the developers can dedicate their focus to design, strategy, and the innovation of what they're doing. Now, an entire testing cycle can be completed in just 10 to 20 minutes. It makes a scalable solution for solo developers and growing teams alike. So expanding its capabilities further, the TestBright MCP server transforms IDE assistants like the cursor or windsurf into intelligent testing agents. So guys, this model context protocol integration seamlessly embeds automated testing, debugging, and bug fixing directly into the development environment. It creates a true virtual teammate for every coder. This is your greatest teammate ever, guys. With a free community version and that comprehensive documentation, TestSprite also makes a powerful AI testing that is accessible to all and supporting the users at every stage of their development journey. And let me actually show you this, guys. Now, of course, you got to make sure that you are always doing your own research. You can head on over to their docs, okay, and it will take you directly here. This is the best place to start doing your own research because this has a ton of information that will definitely be very, very helpful for you to get to know them better and know the benefits, the advantages, as well as the value propositions that they can bring, okay? Now, this is how it looks like when you are logged in to TestBright, all right? So you have the home here, so that is the dashboard. You have the recent created test here. You have test locally, test deployed apps. You have the view docs as well. So you will be able to access that white paper, the documents itself here in the dashboard. Now, for you to be able to create a test, you could click on this one right here and then put in the test name, so test, and then you could click on next. Now, of course, guys, I would leave it all up to you. That way you will be able to test it out. See for yourself if this is something that will help you out in making your workflow more efficient and your work faster. So you have the API name, API endpoint URL, you have the authentication type is also here. You just have to put in extra testing information. And then once you have added all those, you could upload the document file. And when you click on next, it will take you to the next page. Now guys, all the tests that you have done, it will be in here as well, okay? So this is like your history, okay? All tests, you have, you can start the new test right here as well. You have test list. You can even do the monitoring right here. Okay, monitoring dashboard is right there. And of course, you have the profile and the plan and billing are here. And you will be able to see the available plans right here. 
All right, so you have the API keys here as well. So again, guys, I would strongly recommend to head on over to Test Sprite and test it out yourself. That way you will be able to do that hands-on testing and know that this is something that is super powerful that will definitely be very, very helpful for all your coding needs. All right, guys, so GPT-5 is indeed amazing and it satisfies a lot of requirements, but still only you knows whether this software is aligned to your requirements when you manually test it. So this is why we created TestBrite and right now you don't have to manually do it, all the validations anymore. TestBrite will help you to test all the edge cases. And what's more amazing is that we will even send the structured result back. So the cursor will help to polish all the results. And I will tell the cursor, hey, can you test this project? Right, so with test right. So after giving this prompt, it already called our MCP tool. It is a testing configuration page is open and we can just enter the test account info your local host port and the PRD doc we just generated. And after that, we will try to generate a code summary to understand your code base. And then after that, TestSprite will generate a standard product requirement doc. If your PRD is a little bit rough, it's fine. We will polish it, make it more structured based on the code based information and the original BRD information as well. So after that, our MCP will create test plan for this project we generated and 28 test cases in total. And our AI right now is trying to generate all these test codes and execute them in our server side. After some time, we can see that the test execution is already finished. Right now, only four tests passed and 24 failed. Right now, TestSprite is actually trying to generate a test report based on all the feedback. It will list out all the test cases and it will also have a summarization of all these test execution results. One great thing about TestSprite is that for each of the tests will help our user to record all the actions. And this is the value of TestSprite, manually validating all these features really will cost you a lot of time. So you probably don't want to write all these down and feed it back to the cursor. We will help you to summarize it and organize all this information and feed it back to the cursor. So right now we can ask the cursor to fix the code base on test write report. After waiting for some time, we can see that cursor has fixed all of those. And based on the test write report, we actually can now prompt, hey, help me write a Python snake game. It will create a task and it will try to generate some code that we can accept. We can revert, we can get back. We can also see previous tasks. And just like that, that's how you use TestBrite. All right, so make sure to also follow all the social media platforms. That way when they have updates, announcements, airdrops, giveaways, anything and basically everything about the project, you will always be informed. So you have to contact us, the Discord, the LinkedIn, the Twitter, and of course, guys, you have the link tree here. It will also be in the description of the video. That way, you could just go ahead and click on it and it will take you directly to where you need to be. All right, so guys, experience MCP yourself. Automatically test, debug, and polish your projects without lifting a finger. So go ahead and check out the website now. And if you're new to the channel, guys, hopefully you would consider clicking that like, that subscribe, click that bell, that will always be notified. And I upload new videos like this in the future. I'll see you on the next. I'm out. Peace.